Hi guys, this is Five Fifteen, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna answer your questions, and uh, I'm gonna read, read them now. I haven't got uh, I haven't got so many quest questions, but I got a few uh, few questions. The first the first question is. Jordan the Hedgehog, one, uh, one, one and he wrote, "Have you have you ever talked about playing Spyro and the Dragonfly on your for your channel?" The question is, I have already started my Spyro and the Spyro and the Dragonfly walkthrough on my YouTube channel in 2022 and I will continue it someday but I don't know when but but I will I will continue with that uh, walkthrough and uh, Next person is Spyrojam86. He wrote 10 questions to me and I'm gonna answer all of them. All of them. Question number one. What was your first Spyro game you played? Um, I don't know, I don't remember exactly. But I think it was uh, Spyro 1 on play to PlayStation 1. I, I think it, I think it was that one. I first first Spyro game I played. Okay, question number two. Just pick one. Your all-time favorite Spyro level. Yeah, that that question it's hard to choose one I have uh, many favorite man, many favorite levels in all three spar games but I can't uh, really I can't really pick one and uh, question number three List your top five your favorite spiral level music composition composition by Stuart Copeland included in your current music play playlist collection. Um, I also have many favorite soundtracks from all spiral levels in Spark Three. Spyro games, I mean, Spyro 3. I'm sorry for that. Uh, I was... I was doing something downstairs, so I was... forced to go look what... what it was. But... Let, let's, let's continue. Well, uh... Question... Question number three. I can't really answer. I can't really answer that. Sorry. I have many. I have many favorites. Soundtracks from all three Spark games. To PS One. Okay. Next. Next question is. Number four. What. What inspires you the most about the Spire community? Well, I love everyone's spiral fan arts that people have uh, painted, and and I like all I like people talking about spiral and favorite. 
what they what they liked most in the in the spar games and uh, and more. And it it's really fun to be part of it. I also do I also do spar fine arts myself, and I love to share share it with everyone else. Yeah, the, that's the question. Okay, next one is your opinion. Should be should the Spark community have more live events, containing a series of hybrid online and in-person meetups, spiral casual competitive game events. Yes, that yes that that would be fun. But I think it can be hard because the people uh, lives all over the world. But people can can uh, can. I'm sorry for that. I was a little bit distract distracted for a moment. But the question is. Yes, it. The Spark community can have more uh, events with uh, live competitions and sort of stuff. Okay, next next question is number six. When and how did you first discover Spark Jam eighty six? Mm, let's see. I think it was between 2011 and 2012, I think. I was uh, looking around on YouTube for Spyro videos and found, uh, found your channel, Spyro Jam 86. Okay, next question number seven. What does the numbers symbolize in your username, Spiral15? I have, I have never think about it, so I only choose a, a name to my YouTube channel and somehow it became Spiral15. Yes, I never really thought about What the numbers symbolize in my channel. Okay, next. Okay, next. Next question is number eight. Your personal gameplay rating from one being the worst to ten being the best. It's not the answer. Not applicable in gameplay as in slash a. Spiral, the Spark Classic Trilogy, I put it as at number 10 because it is a fun, uh, I love all three Spark games to PS1. I love the soundtracks and the story in the game and the gameplay. So, this, the classic, this classic, sorry. The classic Spyro trilogy I put number 10 and Spyro Enter the Dragonfly I am um, afraid I have to put number number 2 because it how shall I say the, the controls are not the best and uh, And uh, it takes time to um, st 
start, I think. Uh, little on loading screen. Screen, no. And the chamber I also also bad. Yeah. And uh, Spyro a Hero's Tale. It's a good game, and uh, I have played the whole game a long time ago, and uh, it was fun. But the, it was not really the same like the classic trilogy. But it was it was a great game to play. So I have to so I give it number six or number five. Even though the the controls were weren't bad and not the camera either. And uh, the Spyro games to Game Boy Advance. Um, I haven't really played all uh, Spyro games to uh, Game Boy Advance yet. But those uh, I play played were really good, so... So I give it a... Um, Those two, I I don't I don't really know uh, how I should put the other two games that I haven't played yet. But those two I played, I put number number eight. And the other two in slash uh, a in a. Um, and uh, the Legend of Spyro series, well, even though even though the it has a good story in all three games, but it wasn't not really the same as the classic Spyro series. But it had got it had good soundtracks and. Uh, A good a great story so so I put it at number number six on Legend of Spyro series. Okay and uh, the Skylander series mm. the Skylander series is not really a Spyro game to me because the other Spyro games were not about Spyro at all. Even though the first Skylander game was Spyro included, but it was not really about Spyro. And there were many other characters you could play, so. So I, so I put a number 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 two or number one. But it, yeah. I, I don't really know how how I should put it actually. Mm -hmm. Just that Skyrim game is not really a Sparrow game. So uh, the other Skyrim games I put number one because the the story is not about Spyro uh, anything, but. Okay, next one is Spyro Reignited Trilogy. 
like I told you that same as the classic trilogy. Oh no, actually. Okay, well, number 10, that there were some things they could fix a little bit more. Like, many background soundtracks that you have that was playing the classic trilogy and wasn't played in the regnated trilogy. And they could fix a little bit more with the bugs and the glitches in the game. And uh, some voice, act voice actors were changed. But other than that, it was uh, it was a great uh, remastered trilogy to Spyro. So I give it that number 10 too. Okay, number one. Are you ready for a new Spyro game? The answer is yes, I'm ready for a new Spyro game. I can't wait for uh, Spyro 4 to be announced. And I would love to play it when it comes to Nintendo Switch or uh, Steam. Okay the, okay, the next question is number 10 and the last question. Any new, any new upcoming plans for Spyro 15? Yes, it, I have many more uh, video ideas to make on my YouTube channel, like uh, more game world troops and uh, more uh, world, uh, Minecraft worlds of, sp of the spiral levels and other games too. Uh, well that that's it I have more questions so if you like this video then uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe for more videos and comment down below if you if you want to see more uh, Q&A videos so thank you so much for watching and see you see you guys in my next video bye